Yo, what's going on boys? Today I'm going to be playing some Logbed Expo. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and this deck is honestly so fun. I used to play this kind of deck back when like Logbed, Classic Logbed was viable, but then it died for like a year straight and Mighty Manor Logbed kind of took over, but now it's back in the meta again because of the Tesla buff. So, should be fun. This guy's playing a Minor Wallbreakers deck it looks like, so it's not really that good of a matchup, but I think I can win it though. I just have to get like a decent lock. Oh, nice. He cycled a knight in the back, probably thinking I'm playing log bait. So I'm going to go for expo and a Tesla on the right side. I don't think he's going to expect it, so just going to kind of send it. Oh, I was hoping he would play the bomb tower high so my Tesla would take care of it, but that was a pretty good bomb tower. Back to wall breaker, so he's probably going to play it low to tank. Okay, does play it opposite lane. So I'm going to log here. All right, that's on the tower. I'll take that. Nice. Good damage on the tower. He's probably going to poison now because I know that he's back to it. Okay, not too bad. That's some pretty good damage on the tower. I'll take that. It's basically what I needed to win the game. I can just kind of rocket cycle now, I think. Only bad news right now is that he knows I don't have a god barrel, so he's probably going to try to hit like a pre-log on the wall breakers and try to hit my goblin gang or something. I'm going to have to be careful with my gang, but except for that, I think I'll be okay. He's like three cards off poison right now. I'm already back to my princess. I'm going to play it in the middle to kind of help out my knight in winning that trade. I don't think that's going to cross. I hope it does though, but yeah, no, it's not going to cross. I'm going to princess, then I'm going to gang to catch it. Nice. See, that's what I'm talking about. He's going to go for like a log, oftentimes with the wall breakers to hit the goblin gang. Just gonna have to be kind of careful of that. Also, that was a really bad log. I think I win here. I'm gonna knight. He's back to his even knight. Wait, I'm gonna predict spare gobs in the middle. <gasps> oh my god, wait. Wait, that's actually a really good predict. I think I win here. Not back to log. He can only bomb tower, but he's at like two elixir right now. Is that three now? Should be at four now. <laughs> All right, looks like he's gonna give up. I don't blame him though, to be honest. Log bait and expo in the same deck is so annoying. Like I feel him right now. Must be really annoying to face that. I'm gonna expo here, gonna try to get three princess down. See if that's possible. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get back to it before the king goes down because princess doesn't really do like a lot of DPS. Yeah, I'm already back to it now. I'm gonna place it right here and that is kind of sick, I'm not gonna lie. Stacking up three of the same cards always kind of feels like an achievement, I'm not gonna lie, but I'll take the win though. This game's not gonna give me much, probably gonna get like 30 or 28 or something. 27, I'll take that, I'm kind of low on this account. Alright, I'm in my next game here, see what deck this guy's playing. I'm gonna go for a log to cycle. Pretty sure this guy plays like a graveyard deck, if I'm not wrong. I think he's playing splash yard. Oh, I take that back. Might not be splash yard. Could be E giant, so. I'm gonna goblin gang on the left here. No, it is gonna be splash yard, I think. Could still be E giant, but I think it's splash yard, because I know this guy plays a lot of splash yard. Yeah, he is gonna go ahead and graveyard me. I don't know what that placement is, by the way. Oh my god. That thing's on the corner of the map. That looks kind of funny, but he got some damage with it. I'll give him some credit. Anyways, I'm up like a lot of elixir right now. I'm gonna expo. I think he has like a skelly king or maybe a giant skelly. Oh, he's got a knight. Evil knight. Okay. Not too bad. Um, He's still gonna have to spend on the expo. He's gonna have to play like a mother witch on it or try to go for bar barrel if he has one. I'm gonna keep my goblin gang eye spirit ready. Oh, really bad arrows. Wait, he's at one elixir right now. He can't defend this. Man, I feel like Riley making all these log bait plays. <laughs> that was such a good goblin gang at the bridge. That's going to take out like the entire tower. Well, not the entire thing, but it's going to take it down to like 1000 HP. 975, I'll take that. I'm going to go for princess in the middle here, snipe out the zappies. Uh, I'll protect my princess too, because I think he only has like a mother witch for it right now. He could either go for like a cage in the middle or try to go for mother witch on it. I'm going to predict it right now with this knight. Okay, it does go for the cage. Gonna axe on the left here to bait out uh, anything. Probably a knight. Phoenix, oh, I didn't know he had a phoenix in the deck. But good thing the axe locked on the um, goblin brawler because now I can like keep my princess alive. Brawler is not gonna take that out. Ooh, really bad knight. I'm gonna save it. Goblin gang here, then I'm gonna go for the ice spirit to kind of save my um, goblin as well. Oh, that's annoying. I'm gonna have to log here. Oh, she actually died. Wait, that means he's gonna have to zappies. He just got to three elixir, so he's probably gonna zappies at four. I'm going to block it right now. He should be at four. Oh my god, wait. That's such a good play. I think I just won the game. If not, double elixir bailed him out. Because I should be able to take out the tower here. But double elixir might be able to help him out on defense. Yeah, back to his second cage. Can't believe I got him to get back to his second cage on one defense. I'm going to goblin gang predict the phoenix. Okay, well, my princess died. But that was a good predict anyways. I'm going to test on the middle. He can't go in right now. He has no elixir. So I'm going to knight. Don't have to worry about defending the graveyard on the right lane right now. That was a lot of damage just from that one sequence. I'll take that for sure. Okay, see what he does here? Arrows on the princess. So now if he goes in, he can't take out my goblin gang. Kind of doing okay right now. Okay, gonna go for an ice spirit. Then I'm gonna go for the Tessa. I'm gonna go for goblin gang on the side too, just so the phoenix doesn't lock on my expo. And then yeah, that should be game. Expo locked on too. 
funny thing is i'm not even like going for that lane i just wanted to go in there to bait something out oh i just realized the tower's not down to a rocket range well now it is so i'm gonna rocket to take the entire tower down and that is going to be gg kind of had fun that game predicting the um zappies and stuff on the princess it's always really fun to protect your princess i'm not sure if it's just me but let me know in the comments all right i'm in a game i'm gonna outplay him right here like a true log bay player i'm gonna go for princess first play and that is going to get like two hits guaranteed that's so unfair 500 damage right off the bat i'll take that gonna expo on the left too because he might also be playing log bait. he played a tesla so gonna expo here could also be expo though oh uh, i don't know yet okay it is gonna be expo all right kind of sad i didn't protect my expo because i thought he was gonna rock it since i thought he was playing on log bait deck but it is gonna be expo so it's a pretty good matchup i've got log bait and uh rocket cycle in the same deck with expo so i think i'll be okay gonna knight tesla on the expo don't have to rocket it because i've got the knight and the tesla in cycle and his tesla was on one hp okay i can probably princess right now to get damage i kind of want to do it but actually i'll just go expo yeah i don't want to princess here i'll go expo because this is gonna bait out like a knight and a tesla from him as well so that's a lot of elixir then i can princess on the left okay never mind i take that back he just played a knight in the middle so it's gonna kind of ruin my plan now gonna goblin gang oh no the ice spirit didn't jump on the tesla i thought it would it jumped on the skellies and not the tesla super annoying but it's okay though i'm still up damage but i'm down like one elixir right now so gonna have to focus a little bit um if he does go expo at six i can always go for like a knight and a tesla later on but for now i think i'm okay i'm gonna princess in the middle to take off the ice spirit don't want to play it at the bridge i could have potentially gotten some damage there but as an expo player myself, I know that it wasn't going to be a good play because he could have exploded into my princess and then went for like a archers to block my Tesla. I didn't have enough for rocket back then, keep in mind, but now I do though, so I think I'm okay. He's back to Evo Nice, so I'm going to have to watch out. I'm going to knight in the middle. Okay, let's go for the Evo Nice. So I'm going to rocket on the expo. That's a dead knight too. I think I defended this really well. Yeah, I'll take this defense. That was really good. Oh, I have to gang on this. Yikes. My knight didn't get the one last shot, so I'm going to have to gang on this. That's so intimidating though, by the way. The knight does so much damage and it also has like a lot of HP. Even on one HP, I think it always makes it to the tower if you don't defend it. So, gonna have to be careful. Just gonna go for a knight and a Tesla because I've got the evil knight down. So, might as well do it. Okay, really bad knight by him. Took out my princess, but he failed to protect the expo. So, I don't know about all that. Man, I kind of feel bad for this guy because I play expo myself. So, like, I know what he's gonna do at all times. He's probably gonna expo on the right here. I would if I was him. Yeah, let's go for the axe, but log on the princess, question mark. Oh, he missed it. I mean, good play, but he missed it. Goblin game, because he logged now. Uh, fireball, potentially? No, he's not going to fireball. That would be an overcommit. He has to fireball the princess on the axe, but actually. All right, looks like I was right. Oh, and he missed. Ooh, terrible log. He missed one of them. I'm going to go for a goblin game to predict archers on the axe, nice. <laughs> All right, no fireball or log in cycle, so he has to eat the damage right now. And then princess might get one splash, please. Nah, it's not going to get the one splash. I'm going to go for a knight and a test. I'm going to protect it because, I mean, why not? Yeah, I'm just going to do this right here. Fireball, not a bad play. going to princess. Then I'm going to go for... Uh, okay, I'm going to have to rocket that. Just let the expo lock on my tower for a bit. And then I'm going to have to ice spirit behind the knight to pull it back. Also, I'm back to my evil knight now. So I think I can probably go expo and then evil knight. Realistically, though, I don't even have to like go for like an expo to win the game anymore. I already won the game because I need to get like two rockets done and then I'll be fine. But I might just end up doing it though. I'm going to predict archers. No archers. Okay, he's probably going to play them down low. I'm going to Tesla here to predict his Tesla. I know he's back to it now. Okay, archers. Nice. Man, I'm predicting like every single move he's making right now. But he's defending quite well though, I can't lie. Just going to go for... Uh, I mean, I kind of want to rock it and I'm pretty sure he can't punish me for it. But I'll still play it out safe though. Gonna princess in the middle for the ice spear. Then I'll go for a knight on the Tessa. I'll go goblin gang too. All right. Honestly, thought he was gonna like log on the princess, so I went knight gang. But he actually played a fireball on it. Okay, I'm gonna end it all now. Just gonna go for a rocket. Wait, not I. <laughs> I said end it all, as in like end it all. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I meant to say like end the game now. But yeah, just gonna log, and then I'm gonna go for a goblin gang. I'll just go rocket on the tower, and that is going to be GG. I did just end it all. <laughs> Watch me get demonetized for that. That would actually be really funny, but also sad at the same time. I'll take the window. Um, that is gonna give me 22. Damn, why am I getting no trophies today? Alright, I'm in the game. 
This guy's playing Splash Hard, but not the normal variant. He's playing like a Bowler Freeze Knight variant, so it's kind of annoying. Gonna be hard to get a lock. Would have been a lot better if I had a God Barrel in the deck instead of the Axe Bow, but I'm gonna struggle to get a lock, though. I might be able to Rocket Cycle. I just have to kind of watch out on defense, though. I do have the Goblin Gang. Pretty good defense for the Graveyard, but NATO Freeze takes out the entire thing, so gonna have to watch out. Gonna Tesla High here to take out the Knight. Okay, it does go for the eye drag too, so I'm gonna knight, or I'm gonna Tessa here to take out the knight and the eye drag. I should be able to keep my princess alive, so I'm gonna go for the eye spirit, and that should die. Okay, he's gonna have to go for like a bowler on this. Oh, baby D, I'll take that. That's a lot of elixir from him, I can't lie. He spent like a whole baby dragon and the eye drag on that lane. I mean, I also spent like a Tessa and the eye spirit, but not as much as him. I'm gonna go for a princess in the back to cycle. And right here, I'm actually going to go for like Axe Tesla to try and get damage. Although it's really easy for him to defend it though. But I just have to do it to try to get damage. Maybe I get lucky. He's back to Knight now though, so he might Knight. Yeah, just go for the Knight, but my Princess is on the bowler. Nah, that's a whole dead Axe push. Yeah, I can't get any damage here. It's just that easy for him to defend. But it's also kind of easy for me to defend. Problem is he's going to be getting the RNG every time he goes in. But I'm not going to be getting any damage with the Axe So eventually he'll outchip me and then just win the game. Unless I get good rockets on the tower. Right here, I could have rocketed the baby D if I had enough elixir, but don't have that right now. So I'm going to have to let that die. Going to go for a princess again, though. No, nah, actually going to go ice spirit. I'm not going to princess here. That might get one shot, but I'll let that do it. Ooh, no hits. Okay, I'll take that. Just going to go for an expo right now. Yeah, I'll just go expo here. I know that he's back to bowler with that US, so I'm going to go Tesla to block it. Oh, he's back to evil knight now, which is going to be kind of awkward gonna log yeah he is gonna play the evil knight oh yeah this is not fun okay i'm gonna evil knight on the ewis here that should take out the evil knight and the ewis then i'm gonna go for the princess to kind of help my um knight win it's gonna start walking now so it's not gonna die I'm gonna tesla hide to take out the eye drag all right that should die now though it's pretty low so it's gonna die right now and then he's probably gonna bowler ewis well i still got one shot on the ewis that's crazy Anyways, I'm gonna have to keep going in if I wanna get a lock. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is gonna like ever work out. If I just keep going in, he's gonna defend till the end of the game and then just uh, go in and triple to win the game. But if I also keep him defending the whole time and get like a few rockets on the tower, I might be cooking. Yeah, that was some good defense by him. I got a fat rocket and a half, but he defended that with the E was at the end and the freeze. I'm not sure if I like this right now. I mean, I am going in and beating out like a lot of elixir, but I'm also not getting any damage. On the bright side though, like he's not being able to go in, so I'll take that for now. I'll take that as a win for now. Gonna test on the side here. Played it one over, so if he goes baby D or something, I'd be able to kill it. Oh, really bad eye drag. It's gonna die to my Tessa, I'll take that. Gonna goblin gang on the side to take out the baby D, then I'll go knight on the bowler. I don't want to take any damage from that bowler. Also, if the Ewas dies, I might be able to get like a tiny bit. Nah, I'm not gonna get any damage here. This is actually really frustrating trying to break through, but I'm not getting any damage whatsoever. Gonna go for an expo, then I'm gonna go for, I guess, an ice spirit. Yeah, I'll just go goblin gang, and then I'll go knight on this side. Goblins are blocking the Idrex, so my evil knight should live. Okay, that was a really bad freeze, by the way. He put it down when my knight's shield was on, so he's not gonna get any damage here. I get some damage here. Nice. Finally got a lock that I needed. Okay, kind of want a goblin gang. Oh, I should have done it. Yikes, I should have done it. All good, though. I got the damage I needed on the left. So now I can kind of like start dual laning him and kind of possibly get a lock. We'll see how that goes though. Gonna knight here to block the princess. Gonna save her. Then I'm gonna go for uh, X on the right. I'll go Tesla too to block the bowler. Okay, let's go for the bowler in the middle. Pretty smart since he didn't want the bowler to die to my Tesla right away. That's a dead baby D. I'll take that for sure. Gonna goblin gang. Okay, this is gonna be kind of awkward. Uh, X on the tower? Question mark? Nope. He does go for the freeze. That was a pretty good freeze. I can't lie. Good defensive freeze right there. Gonna go for a Goblin King. That was both actually defended and attacked at the same time. Baited out like a whole knight and a princess. Gonna Tesla high here. Then I'm gonna go for a Expo. Okay, I'm gonna block it with the Evil Knight. So that means he's gonna have to spend a lot on this. Like a lot of Elixir. Ton of Elixir on that. Okay, gonna log here on the knight and the Buller. Buller should die now. Okay, my knight's also dead. Uh, okay, I'm gonna rock it on the tower. 10 seconds left. Gonna block the bridge here, gonna ice spirit. Gonna go for a log. Last second to make sure I don't choke the game. Goblin game? Yes? Okay, nice. I win the game. That game was so scuffed, I can't lie. Like I kept trying to get a lock and nothing would work, but 
at the end I was able to throw like one rocket and just win the game. Also, if I didn't play that rocket, I would have lost the game because rocket does like 490 something. So I'll take the win. 30, not a lot of trophies, but I'll take that. All right, on to my last game. I'm going to play one more. This guy plays Queen Mo with a Tesla, so I think I'll be okay. He's not really that good at it, so I'll be able to beat him. I'm going to Princess first play like a true log bait player. Oh, he, and he goes for like minor wall breakers like a true minor player. Okay, he's not playing his one trick deck though, so I'm kind of at an advantage right here, but... I don't know if I'll be able to beat that deck. This is kind of a bad matchup for me because he has a poison and um, a lot of tanks in his deck. He's got the knight and the bomb tower, so oftentimes he can stall out my expo with the defensive miner, knight, bomb tower, even wall breakers. Like they tank out the expo for like a decent bit. I'm gonna ice spirit on the spear gobs, then I'll go for the expo. Okay, wait, kind of a bad miner. I'm gonna princess high to take out the bats and see if I can keep my knight alive. Alright, well, that's a dead expo. I would log, but I'm gonna save it for the wall breakers. This could be like some decent damage on the tower. Alright, yeah, not too bad. Gonna be like a tiny log. I know it's gonna spare gobs now because I logged, but I'll take that. Wish I had a princess there. I could have predicted it, but anyways, gonna knight. I don't wanna take any damage, and I also wanna get back to my Evo Knight, so that was a pretty good knight right there. He's probably gonna knight on defense as well to try to get to the Evo Knight. Um, yeah, let's go for the knight. I'm trying to think how I get a lock again, because I feel like it's kind of impossible to get a lock again in this matchup. It's going to be really tough at least, if not impossible, but we'll see how that goes. They're going to gang on the side. Don't want to play it in the middle, because it's pretty predictable if you play it in the middle. They could always go for like a pre-log in the middle and hit the whole goblin gang. But yeah, let's go for the log on the goblin gang. I'm going to ice spear at the back. I'll go princess on the miner. Uh, okay, wait, this might be a lot of damage on my tower. Oh, princess with a clutch hit. I'll take that. Right here, I'm going to Evo Knight in front because I know that he's not back to a log. So he's probably going to have to Evo Knight to keep my um, Knight on his side and then defend my Princess. Alright, that was a pretty decent Evo Knight by him. I'm going to go for a Tessa. I'm going to Ice Spirit to keep my Princess alive for like a little bit longer. But she is going to die though. Those are going to go to my Tessa. Okay, that's actually really worth it. I don't have to defend those. And then I'm going to go for the Goblin Gang on the side. That's a Dead Knight too. I'll take that. Alright, still up damage but not by a lot. He's kind of coming back now. So this is definitely not very good. Going to go for a knight. Then I'm going to log here. I'm going to go for a Tesla if he goes wall breakers. If not, I'm going to Axe right now. Oh, yeah. Not the best time to Axe Bow. Going to Princess. Okay, Princess should stay on my side. I don't think the bomb tower is in range. All right, Loki want to just start rocketing the tower now because I'm not getting any damage in double. But I'm going to have to get the knight out before that. Hopefully, he plays a knight in the back so I can rocket it. Oh, Nice. The reverse psychology. I played a knight in the back to bait out his knight in the back, and then I get a rocket on it now. I'll take that for sure, and then uh, let's see what he does. Okay, bats. I'm going to go for Ice Spirit. All right, decent miner. He probably wanted to get my princess out, but I can play it on the side now to take out the bats. All right, um, right here, I'm going to expo. Did play the logs. So I'm going to go for a knight, and then I'll go for an Ice Spirit on the spare gobs. Okay, going to princess on the bats. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, this is definitely not good. I'm gonna have to Goblin Gang here. I could have logged it, but I have to Goblin Gang to defend the Euro Knight. I still have to log here and try to go for a Knight on this. Damn, bro, can that thing die? It's been alive for like a minute now. Wow. Anyway, it's gonna test on the middle. That thing tanked my whole expo, baited out like a Goblin Gang, a log, a Ice Spirit, a Knight, and I don't know what else I played on it. I forget, but I still played like one more card on it. It's super annoying, but finally was able to take it out. It's my turn soon though, because I'll be back to it in like one more cycle. Gonna go for a Goblin Gang on the Miner. Probably gonna Fireball. Yeah, let's go for the Fireball. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Yikes. I'm not being able to get any damage. And he's getting a lot back to back. Wait, that was a terrible placement. That's gonna walk out. Expo on the tower? Dumbass. Oh my god. He forgot to block the Expo. He didn't know the Knight was gonna walk out. Nice. I'll take the win. I thought I was gonna lose, honestly, because he was getting a lot of damage and I was not getting any damage at all. But yeah, he forgot that the knight does like a weird pathing where um it kind of like walks in a circle, like on like a semicircle to get out of the expert range. But I love you guys and I'll see you on the next one. Like and subscribe, bye.